James Murdoch's second appearance before the politicians in Britain was always going to be a box office event, but he did manage to get in under the noses of the journalists waiting for him to arrive. Not that it stopped the scrutiny though. Having already said that he didn't know about the scale of the hacking, he tried to say exactly the same again. This time though, he acknowledged that perhaps things might have been done a little differently. It is a huge focus for the business and has been for the last year to get to the bottom of this issue, definitely, to cooperate with the police with respect to their criminal investigations and this committee as well as the judicial inquiry into the press, politicians, police that is uh, underway. The difference now though was the emergence of documentation detailing the scale of things. News of the World executives and legal advisers warned in detail of what was happening, yet Mr Murdoch said he had never been made aware and he didn't ask. The disbelief on the faces of the politicians and their questions was there for all to see. Usually people come the second time round, they're more on the ball the second time round than they were the first time round. You seem to be more vague this time round. There were allegations of phone hacking, computer hacking, conspiring to pervert the course of justice, perjury facing this uh, company, and all this happened without your knowledge. I can't even begin to believe that that is a course of action that any self-respecting chief executive, chief operating officer could possibly take. Mr Murdoch, you must be the first Mafia boss in history who didn't know he was running a criminal enterprise. Mr Watson, please. I think that's inappropriate. Mr Chairman. Although some of the MPs questioning Mr Murdoch clearly didn't believe what he was saying to them, the problem for them is that they can't actually prove that he wasn't telling the truth. But if any genuine evidence did emerge that he was lying, he wouldn't only be in trouble with Parliament, it would become a matter for the police. The protesters outside Parliament were making the point that Mr Murdoch isn't fit to be a chief executive, given that his main defence now is that he didn't try to get to the bottom of the problems at the newspaper he was in charge of. They may not be the only people to share that view. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera, Westminster.